Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Wild Foods channel with Jamie and Marcy where we are obsessed with ingredients and the stories behind them. And today we're gonna to be doing an awesome video for you guys. We're gonna show you how to remove that nasty pesticide ridden wax that's on all of your fruits and vegetables. to like our video and subscribe to our channel. We have tons of really cool content coming for y'all and we post almost every day recipes, ingredients, and more fun stuff. So be sure to come hang out with us. And now we're gonna tell you guys three reasons why you should be washing your veggies. And number one being for a healthy brain. Pesticides are considered neurotoxins which absolutely affect mammals and humans. Studies have also shown that it can increase the risk of Parkinson's disease. So that is a huge, huge red flag. The second reason is to reduce the risk of cancer. Glyphosate is one of the most commonly used pesticides. And in 2015, the International Agency on Research for Cancer showed that glyphosate is probably a risk for cancer. Some of the mostly known weed killers are brands like Roundup and Cleanup and Weed Off. Stay away from these. I walked into Home Depot the other day and saw them like front and center and those are literally so toxic to us and people are filling their whole uh, gardens and plants with these chemicals. If the International Agency on Research for Cancer is saying that glyphosate is a probable cause of cancer, why are we still using it? We should really, really work to stop. And when you're using it, you're being exposed to the fumes, you're ingesting the fumes, it's all just toxic. So the third reason is to protect your children's health. In 2012, the American Academy of Pediatrics warned that early life exposure to pesticides increases the likelihood that your child will develop pediatric cancers, developmental problems, cognitive problems, and behavioral problems. So it is known that 75 to 80% of pesticides are actually removed with water. So that's what we're gonna show you guys, two different methods to wash your vegetables and fruit. So I'm gonna show you guys the first method, which is using a salt water wash. And this method is actually best for fruits and vegetables like apples or squash, not berries because the berries can get too saturated with the salt water. So what you'll do is two teaspoons of salt in four cups of water. You wanna just kind of shake it up a little bit and then simply pour it into your bowl of fruit. And you're gonna wanna let that soak for about 30 to 60 minutes. Now Jamie's gonna show you method number two. Okay, so now we are gonna do four cups of water again. This is for the blueberries. So four cups in. And then the only difference here is we're not gonna use salt. We're gonna do one cup of white vinegar. And we're gonna let those bad boys soak up. And you wanna let that sit for 30 to 60 minutes. And then when you guys are done, just wash it off with water to get all the residue off and you'll be ready to go. Nice and delicious, ready to consume. So here we've got our delicious wax-free apples, which we will enjoy. And we hope you enjoyed this video too. Hit that like button and smash that bell for notifications. And we wanted to welcome our newest subscriber, Linda. Welcome to our channel. We appreciate your support and hope you love everything. Be sure to comment below, guys. We love to engage with you all and we want to hear from you. So we will see you guys soon on our next episode. Bye. Bye.